Hey everybody, welcome back to When Harry Met Board Games, where we feed our people with relatable content, and our victory condition is your satisfaction. I am Harry, and before we go any further, please don't forget to hit the button right there on the lower right hand corner to subscribe to this channel if you're interested in some more relatable board gaming content. Today we're going to have another unboxing, and I'll be unboxing this game here which is Steam, designed by Martin Wallace and published by Mayfair Games. This is a classic within the gaming hobby and a game I've been interested in playing for quite some while. I've mentioned in my channel that I'm interested in exploring more train-themed games, heavier games than your gateway train games like Ticket to Ride. So, let's see what's inside. I peeled off the shrink wrap. Let's see. Pull off that box, nice little box for it. And let's see what's inside. Oh, I love this. Nice fabric bag, okay. Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. I, I felt better quality, but I've also felt worse, so I'm not complaining. And then a whole bunch of different uh, colored cubes and um, circle-shaped pieces, right? in a bunch of different colors. How about we just uh, pour some of these out right here and get a look at it. Ooh, looks like a, a bag of Skittles almost, huh? <laughs> All right, so just typical wooden pieces. Nothing, nothing that blows your mind, nothing out of this world. Then you got these tiny little cubes. They probably represent different goods, I'm guessing, that you're transporting. This is a pickup and delivery game here so okay that's pretty much it and the circle shape pieces are more or less the same size all right all right so there's a lot of these like i said nothing amazing from a component quality perspective but i'm sure that they're functional and serve their purpose all right so back to the inside of the box we have the rule book right here the steam rule book and this is a pretty thick one um there are 16 pages in this rule book and it's a long rule book at that right the text is not too small there are two columns on each page so there's there's some rule reading to do for this one right um but i like so far that they have uh images and examples and different uh diagrams and things like that that you can refer to so it looks like a thorough rule book time will tell if it's well written and easy to follow so i forgot to mention the player count here so steam here is steam steel and wealth it has all the contents that are in here and where's the player count where is the player count uh I do not like it when the player count is not easy to find. Okay, right here. Three to five players. It's about a 90-minute game, so it is a little bit of a longer game, and the recommended age is 12 and older. So, first of all, we have these different punch-out boards, and we have the different rail tiles, so you're going to be laying track as the game progresses, and these are the tiles they're a little bit smaller i mean the quality is fine you know right the thickness of it all the feel of it in your hand is fine but they're a little smaller i guess than i prefer my uh hexagonal tiles to be but what can i say so they're double-sided um maybe that represents a city haven't played this game again so i'll find out and you have a different amount of tracks on them. They're different. There are some different configurations of tracks. They're not all the same. You also have some of these tokens here. <clears throat> not too sure what they do. Maybe some currency, some victory points. We have these right here. which I imagine represent 
different type of industrial buildings, perhaps. This almost looks like a government building, not too sure. Again, time will tell. We have some more. These are like plain old railroad tracks. There's straight lines. But the reverse side has a curvy one. Right? You got your straight and you got your curved rail line or rail track. You got some more of those. Then you got this. Ah, here you go. You got your money. What would a good you know, a uh, steam rail railroad mogul type game be without some some coin, right? Some money. So we got your fives and we got your tens, right? And they're double sided, so I guess money is not necessarily private information in this game. And uh, yeah, they look just fine. Okay, then we have these here. I'm not sure what these are. But they have a number in it, perhaps referring to some type of value in this game. Yeah. Alrighty. And then finally, perhaps the main event is the board and this looks to be a big one here this this is a huge board and it is double-sided so i guess you have two different maps to explore and based on my vast knowledge of world geography i could tell that this is germany actually i was able to tell because of this city of essen here um and also just the spelling of these many of these cities Eindhoven, Nimgen. Okay, let me not butcher any of these names. So here you have a, a, a Germany side of the map. And you have some sort of track here. You have some sort of track here. And then I guess... Uh, oh, I guess this is the victory point track, perhaps. You have some other tracks over here on this side. On the upper right-hand corner. And some cities are just regular. And I guess some are color coded and highlighted in that way i'm guessing these are more important cities you have some some rivers that flow through here i wonder if they're thematically uh relevant to the gameplay and then the opposite side of the board right here interesting okay it looks like we have new england here right the northern part of the United States of America. You see Ottawa and Montreal are here on the top. And you see some of the, you know, common cities of New England. You have Boston and Hartford. You have Albany, New York and Syracuse. Interesting, they have Maine, almost as if it were a city when Maine is really a, a state, but I guess they don't know any of the big cities. There is no big city in Maine. I, I actually live in the state of Maine for two and a half years. And of course, you're going to have Northeast of the United States. You have to have New York and Philadelphia while you're at it. So this is really cool. It looks like everything else, the score track is pretty much the same. It's just two different uh, geographical options. And I'm sure that there's some differences in the spatial orientation of the game. I would hope so, right? I would hope that the two two sides don't play identical but yeah all right so you got germany and you got new england of the united states all right and that's pretty much it for our unboxing for today thank you so much for joining us here when harry met board games please again don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's so easy it's right there waiting for you begging you to hit it so you can subscribe to our channel and follow us as we could continue to put out more relatable board game content. Again, thank you guys. This is Harry. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.